Well, there's a new research group looking into ways to help Singaporeans live better with machines called MENS, Manus and Machina, or M3S. It is looking into what, uh, what's called social frameworks for our interactions with machines. Bit of a mouthful there. It is, but the programme is by the Singapore MIT Alliance for Research and Technology, or SMART, and we have with us in the studios the lead principal investigator. Welcome to you. It's good to see you, Professor Zhao Jinhua. Very nice to see you. So it isn't an easy to top, uh, topic to sort of wrap our heads around. Can you please break it down for us, uh, what the program M3S is all about? Sure, yeah. So the official title, Men's Man, uh, Manners and Machina, is the twist on the MIT motto. Men's and Manners is Latin for mind and hind. It's the MIT ideal for combining thinking and doing. Right, combining theory and practice. Right, but we add a machine to it to say that uh, over the time, humans are good at uh, interacting with each other, forming team. But now with machine coming, can we effectively construct a team between humans and machines? That's what we're looking at today. Right. All right. Tell us a bit more um, about the name. Uh, what, what inspired you to, mm. to call it that? Right. That, that's a good, good question. Yeah, I'm really glad to be here for a specific reason, because. How AI empower people is not a pure academic exercise. Mm. For this program, we really want to engage the local Singaporeans mm. as early as we can. Mm. Because fundamentally, what we want is to prepare everyone for the transformation that AI is going to bring to how we live, how we work, yes. and how we learn. Right? This project has two purposes. One is to look at how AI's impact on future jobs. Right? Do we have a job even? Mm -hmm. What type of job we mm -hmm. have? Right? The mm -hmm. second one is the AI's impact on how we educate. Yeah, in terms of what we educate and how we educate, right? Yeah. By ourselves, but also by our children, mm -hmm. right? So men's, uh, men's, men's, manners and machina try to reflect that principle mm -hmm. with the human-centered desire of the human technology interaction. Yes. Right. Professor Chow, you, you began this interview by saying that what's necessary is for us to begin to learn how to, in a way, interact or socialize in a way with mm. machines, the way right. that we do with each other. Right. Sometimes even humans find it difficult to do that. <laughs> That's true. So you need to create these social frameworks, right? right? Give us an example of what that might look like. Right. Precisely. That's actually the key differentiator of this program from many other prior technology-focused yeah. uh, research programs. Yeah. This one has two components. Why is technological? Mm -hmm. We will study how people and machine interact with each other, how you enable machine to understand people's intention here, right? But more important is the second part, is the institutional design. We want to look at how do we prepare people, both from the scientific point of view, but also from government, and more important from the individual point of view, right? If you look at what's the job, what does the job do to you, right? Yeah. Economically, it's uh, labor for money, but emotionally, it's how we define our ego. How do we have a sense of in control? And, and socially, is how we identify ourselves is through the jobs, right? So when machine comes in, how would they challenge all of this? And how can a society prepare all of us to be not only surviving mm -hmm. this, but excel mm -hmm. in this uh, AI and the robotic heavy environment? Right. So that's what you mean by social frameworks, you know, whether at work or governments or things. What if we didn't have those frameworks? Yeah, that, that's interesting because, as you mentioned, even human-to-human -human interaction yeah, is not yeah. that easy, right? Yeah. We do want all sorts of institutions to enable that. Yeah. Corporations, uh, market, government, religion, they're all different ways to organize people to, together. We, are, we have a thousand years to exercise in this, but when we deal mm. with automation and AI, we're newbies still. We're still to learn how to do that, right? We don't know the answer yet. We, we want here to learn first, to listen before we preach, but we do have two principles we want to apply, right? The first one is early engagement with the local communities and the local uh, uh, schools, the local industries. And the second one is to really look at the human welfare as the first principle mm. instead of productivity and production efficiency as the prior first principle here. Mm. There, we've been some years now talking about how machines, robots, and so on might replace humans, right? That's in the fear. So what I hear you say is mm. part of this research program is to remove some of that fear. How will Singaporeans actually benefit from this program? Will it help them in that way? Right. There are a couple of ways. So the first one is uh, from economic sense, right? Singapore is booming, but yeah. we have a major labor shortage issue. Right. So the first thing is through the AI-based team, we want Singapore to be the global example of how to integrate the humans and intelligent machine in this workspace. Right. The second one is our human capitals. Right. We want to really want to train our local talent 
at all levels, from the PhDs all the way down to ITEs to uh, skilled workers, etc. Right, and also attract a global talent. The last one I want to add is also offer a social protection mm. to those group of people who, right. who cannot really engage the technology. The society also need to take care of this group of people as well. This. Uh, well, we'd love to have you back again and uh, talk to us further on this very interesting topic. Thank you so much uh, for your very insight much, there. there, Professor Chao Jinhua, Principal Lead Investigator of the Smart M3S program.